On this episode of Doing the Most, we're going to look at some projects in progress. Moment brews and various artists, everything from meat to roast. Big creation, fermentation, and ebriation, doing the most. When we started this channel a little over a year ago and 700 less subscribers ago, we decided we wanted to do some making, baking, homebrewing kind of content and we wanted to put out a video every week. Well, putting out a video a week can be tough when a majority of your content revolves around fermentation. So this week, we don't have anything quite ready, but I wanted to show you some of the stuff that we have in the works. First up, these two brown concoctions here are some experiments I've been doing with Kvik strains of yeast. This one is Hothead, and I also have the exact same recipe going with Voss. And this is a buckwheat honey malt concoction. And you can see here they have different patterns that they formed in the Krausen when they were fermenting, and of course different colors. Very interesting. I'm gonna guess that's due to some stuff that's in suspension. We're also working on this tart cherry mead. We posted this to Instagram the other day, so you can see a crystal clear picture there. And all of these are sitting in the floor of our kitchen right now. Usually I've got carboys in the kitchen and Anna puts up with that. Also in the kitchen right now is the Blue Yeti microphone we record our voiceovers with and a lot of reclaimed bottles that we're going to be recycling. Typically the kitchen has a lot of recyclables sitting in here. They used to make their way down to the basement but it has been flooding lately. In our fridge where typically most people would keep their butter I've got yeast. These are some of my various generations of quick yeast strains. We also have some EC1118, D47. Usually I've got yeast and uh, cheese cultures in here. This is a birch beer experiment. It's a birch beer boche. This was made with a birch beer extract and uh, using erythritol as a sweetener. So this is still fermenting. It's fermenting with Kvik Voss, and uh, it's, it's slowed down. It's probably about done. And you can see there was like no Krausen at the top of this. And so it was a very clean fermentation and it tastes just like birch beer. So I think the Boucher flavor is gonna be really great in that. This is where all the fermentation stuff lives. This is the unused guest room in this house and there's just things everywhere. This is a peach mead made with 30 pounds of Porter, Oklahoma peaches and a ton of honey. That's going to be great. This is a barley wine boche. And then also in this room, we've got the apple cider that will become Applejack this winter. So look for that update coming soon. I have got to freeze distill that. This is a mango mead made for a Reddit challenge. It hasn't cleared. I kind of consider this a failure, but we'll see what happens. I've had a couple of questions through Instagram about this hops basket, so this is what it looks like. Don't really have much to say about it here, but it is super handy, crazy easy to clean, and uh, has those cool latches so it can hook onto the side of your brew kettle. I got a ton of bottles of stuff in here. I try and give a lot of the fermentables away. Those yellow caps in the back there are a buckwheat quick experiment. The ones with L's on them are the lemongrass that you've seen on the channel. And these are the cranberry braggot also featured on the channel. And there's my mash paddle. Very proud of that. I've got also a bunch of herbs and spices kind of kicking around in this. These are juniper berries we picked last weekend and dried out. They are beautiful and we actually made some chicken with them tonight. They're gonna go into a batch of juniper session mead. And while I was recording this, Samantha came in to see what was going on. She is the best doggo and a brewer's best friend. She doesn't get to come in this room very often so she was thrilled to run and play. This is part two of my birch beer experiment. These are all the roots and spices that are gonna go into the birch beer. There's anise and licorice and dandelion root and cinnamon. Also some birch bark down there at the bottom. This is coming soon. Uh, it's, the recipe development has been kind of a struggle because some of these 
ingredients are difficult to find. And I am not the most organized brewer. I keep these postal service flat rate boxes full of just random mishmash of homebrew parts. I am not the person you should come to for homebrew organizational advice. Sorry. Thank you for watching. I hope this gives you a little bit of a window into our brewing process and kind of what we've got going on. There's a lot of cool stuff coming up soon. Please follow us on Instagram and Pinterest. That's doing the most okay. And our website is doing the most.org. As always, thank you for subscribing. And if you want to be notified of our upcoming videos, hit that bell icon so you get those notifications. See you next time.